Hello, and welcome to the Whispers of Hope show. I'm your host, Alice White. This show is about life and its struggles, and how people have overcome these challenges to find hope and a more fulfilling life. We also feature stories of hope and inspiration, which brings us to our special guest today, Daisy Sutton. Daisy is the Life Enrichment Coordinator at East Haven Villa, which is an assisted living memory care facility located in Yelm, Washington. She also is a board certified music therapist, which is the subject of our show today. Welcome Daisy and thank you for joining us today. So first of all, what is music therapy and how did you get involved in it? Hi. Welcome Daisy. Thank you, Alice. Yes. I'm really excited to be here today. Awesome. Yeah. Music therapy has been around for over 70 years. Okay. And Long we time. began working with uh, veterans in the hospitals mm -hmm. and the psych wards. Mm -hmm. And it was actually the doctors that told us that we needed to seek training. Okay. So we began our first university. And since then, we've really progressed a lot. In the last 20 years, we've seen a lot of research come out in music and how it's effective with the brain. And I'll be sharing about that a little bit later. Okay. Um, but I'd like to say that with music therapy, mm -hmm. we use goals and objectives to work on various different interventions uh, oh. with children to adults. Oh. And um, okay. I started off with my journey of music uh -huh. as a young child. Mm -hmm. um, listening to my mother play the piano oh. and she um, I've got a picture here of her this is a picture of okay. me and my mom nice and okay. she has been my inspiration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, throughout all my life okay and she began playing the piano at a young age of five okay and she actually came from a dysfunctional family so music for her mm -hmm. was her escape and oh, so she, therapy. It was therapy for oh, her. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So it started way back then. Mm -hmm. And oh. when she was 12, mm -hmm. she met um, uh, her teacher, set mm -hmm. her up with another mm -hmm. piano partner okay. who also came from a similar background. Okay. So um, her and this piano partner would get together, uh -huh. and she was like the heart and soul. She would play with the tempo and the melodic changes, and he would say no, and he'd start pounding, <laughs> and he was into the structure. And so, but the, together amazing. they did really well mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. won several competitions. Um, oh my. There was a competition that she won, mm -hmm. I think when she was 14, and she didn't think that she won it and she was about to leave and they called her back up on stage to, to say oh. that she was the winner. Oh, but, that's um, beautiful. She, she didn't pursue music mm -hmm. for the rest of her life. She mm -hmm. actually um, had kids right mm -hmm. away and yes. got married uh -huh. and later in life went back and became an attorney. Oh, that's um, amazing. But I, I always knew as a young girl mm -hmm. listening to mm -hmm. her play mm -hmm. how passionate she was for music mm. and I was just so intrigued by that. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I wanted to have that in my life. Oh, that mm. was a passion. So your mm -hmm. music uh, interest started way back when you were young. Mm -hmm. So did she kind of encourage that or did you just start taking up different musical instruments or what, mm -hmm. what kind of got you started? Um, I remember going up to the piano okay. and just playing different melodies okay. and I would make up different melodies okay. on the piano. Uh -huh. And But when I got into school, mm -hmm. they I was introduced to band and I oh. became really interested in the flute. Okay. So I picked up the flute. Here's a oh. picture of me. Nice. I think it might be eighth grade playing the flute. Okay. Um, but it was in the fifth grade that mm -hmm. I started. Okay. And it actually took me mm -hmm. a whole month to make a sound come out of the it instrument. It did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't give up. <laughs> I didn't. No, I didn't. And actually, I'm so glad. <laughs> the band director gave me an award mm -hmm. that said most improved musician. Oh, So that just beautiful. really helped me a lot. Yeah. So I continued to play flute. Okay. Um, here's a picture of me in... Uh, oh. middle school playing the flute. Beautiful. And um, it it really helped me a lot. It mm -hmm. gave me mm -hmm. lots of confidence mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. helped me persevere um, and learn how to get better at something okay. that practice made better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Be awesome. Because also when I was in school, um, I was placed on an IEP with a mild learning disability. Oh, you were? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. And I had social anxiety okay. and um, I struggled with tests and processing okay. certain concepts okay. like math okay. and science. 
So, so this became uh, more of a therapy for you then, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. like a, not an escape, but just a, a means of um, having that peacefulness of yeah. feeling like maybe you could be around other people. Was that probably mm -hmm. the beginning of it for you? I think you're right. Yeah. 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 Helped me develop that social interaction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with playing with other band members. Right. Yeah. Something in common. Mm -hmm. so there's oh. a picture of me. This is my senior picture in school. Okay. And um, okay. after that, um, I decided to pursue college with my music. Oh, and okay. I went to Central Washington University and I was one of six in the flute studio there. Oh, you were. Mm -hmm. oh. Great experiences. And I graduated. Here's mm -hmm. a picture of me. Okay. Um, okay. This is my roommate in college. Nice. And so that was the beginning of the mm -hmm. career part. Mm -hmm. And oh, awesome. um, along about my junior year, close mm -hmm. to my senior year mm -hmm. of college, mm -hmm. I realized that I didn't want to just be a performer. Mm -hmm. I wanted to help others. Mm -hmm. And going back to my roots and having that learning disability, mm -hmm. I had been placed in a special classroom at times, and I'd been around other kids that were different. Okay. okay. And um, I remember feeling that it was okay to okay. be different. Mm -hmm. Even though most of my life it was really frustrating mm -hmm. to be different. Mm -hmm. And um, there were times when I felt ashamed mm -hmm. that I was different. And oh, sort of sad. Respect. You were actually yes. unique is mm -hmm. what you were. Yeah. You were unique. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And, yes. You know, sometimes when we go, grow up, we realize that yes. we're all different and we all have different That's right. talents. That's right. Um, and so I pursued music in graduate school. I moved to Colorado to be closer okay. with my dad. Okay. And they had a music therapy program. So I studied music in the brain. And oh. um, from a neurological perspective, I got to take anatomy classes. Oh, and amazing. Psychology classes. So that's a whole other level mm -hmm. of music mm -hmm. that most people probably have never heard about. Yeah. And the reason why I went to Colorado mm -hmm. was because here in Washington at mm -hmm. the time, they didn't have a program okay. for um, okay. for a master's level okay. because I already had a bachelor's of okay. music. Wow, that's so, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. So from then on, um, I graduated with my master's mm -hmm. and I pursued an internship in Logan, Utah. So I have this picture of me oh. getting my certification. Um, it was a six-month internship that oh, was unpaid, awesome. um, but it was a great experience. I got to work with Alzheimer's and adults. Oh, you did. And rehabilitation. So one-on-one -on -one yeah. type of situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one amazing. One-on-one and groups. Mm -hmm. And I actually had a co-intern from New York City. Mm -hmm. We lived together. Nice. So, <laughs> so in these groups, let's say, what exactly would you do as far as music therapy? Did um, they... We did music for relaxation. Okay. We did music with memory, um, okay. cognitive stimulation. And um, oh, interesting. we also did one-to-ones at bedside. Mm -hmm. I actually had um, one of my, the residents that I went to see with music therapy mm -hmm. was on hospice. And he, okay. he actually came out of hospice while we were working together. Oh, that's amazing. But it was, so he got much better. Mm -hmm. That sounds mm -hmm. like that was a part of it. That's amazing. He also was a musician. So, oh, he was. Yeah. So he understood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he understood that, that. Connection with it. That's so, that's great. Yeah, okay. but it was just nice to be there. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, while I was there, I got to meet a lot of other wonderful people, the recreational staff. Okay. And they taught me all about how to do activities with older adults. Okay. All right. And so that yeah. helped me later in life. <laughs> so does that have to do with so. music too, as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we had different themes every day. Every okay. day was a different theme. So okay. I picked up various different songs okay. from different themes. Okay, and probably so. different musical mm -hmm. instruments as well. And mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. right. and I bet they loved it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and you could see the difference between someone just starting out in this type of music therapy and then watching them advance. Mm -hmm. And that's got to be very mm -hmm. rewarding, very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I had a wonderful teacher too. Oh, that she, makes a difference. She was yes. very vocally proficient uh -huh. and she played the piano. So oh, yes. she was a mentor to me. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Wonderful. Um, and then I um, moved back to Colorado. Okay. And I got my board certification. So here's a picture okay. of me. And um, you worked really hard at getting all of this, all these credentials and all this information and education on it. 
And as I said before, I struggled with exams mm -hmm. growing up, and this exam I didn't pass the first time. Okay. But eventually, when I did pass mm -hmm. it, it just was, you know, it it just added to everything that I had experienced. Absolutely. And, you know, right, the accomplishment so. in that alone, mm -hmm. and something that you love. Mm -hmm. That's your passion. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. And um, after that, I, well, I had spent two years working in Colorado mm -hmm. as a music therapist for a company called Metro Music Therapy. Okay. And I served 15 older adult <coughs> groups per mm -hmm. week going to various places. I actually drove 500 miles a week, too, to get there. Oh. <laughs> so it was a wow. lot of driving. But um, you took that really seriously. <laughs> I did. I did. Yes, you you did. know, it just was such a wonderful yeah. opportunity to see so many That's people great. And to help them. Mm -hmm. so, um, That's beautiful. I just got kind of tired of the driving and mm -hmm. I felt like in my heart, something mm -hmm. was calling me back to Washington mm -hmm. State. Mm. So that's when I started looking for jobs and I found oh. the position at East Haven Villa. Okay. Now what's mm -hmm. that about? Is that a retirement center or is it... Um, Mm -hmm. For memory care? It has assisted living and okay. memory care, okay. this particular facility. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. And so your your job there is doing exactly what? What do you do there? Um, I do all of the activities and okay. recreational okay. Um, and music therapy. Okay. I do three programs per day, and they're diverse. Every day it's something okay. different, okay. but maybe once a week we're, we're making a cake or oh, making nice. some bread. Sure. And then um, we're dancing together. Or that's we're going on nice. an outing. We go out for ice cream. Oh, how fun! Which is wonderful. That's I amazing. Mm -hmm. And so your music therapy, um, you use that as well mm -hmm. as a part mm -hmm. of their therapy, mm -hmm. right? We do music and exercise together. Okay. okay. And um, we also do one. I do one-to-one -one visits. Okay. I do a group visit where we work on social interaction, okay. communication, cognition. And we also do exercise groups oh, as that's well, a lot. and recreational music too. Okay. So, what exactly um, your title per se? What is it there at uh, the um, villa? My title is life enrichment coordinator okay. slash music therapist. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I have some pictures here I'd like to show of the residents. Oh yes, big smiles. So here is me playing the guitar <coughs> with um, one of our residents. And um, she's, she got up and started dancing in this moment. Mm -hmm. So it was, just, mm -hmm. it was just wonderful to see their reactions. That's amazing. Yeah. So when they start hearing the music, they start coming alive. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do they start tapping their feet? They or do. They do. Yeah, yeah. and oh. singing. It's amazing to see mm -hmm. people that don't normally speak at all okay. to start singing or talking with others that's and sharing memories. Something. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the music. The music therapy mm -hmm. does that. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Here's another picture with me playing the piano okay. with a couple of residents listening. And um, I try to bring in um, memorized music. Okay. So everything okay. I do is memorized so I can connect okay. with them okay. and offer them choices. Okay. Um, and then, let's see. About that. Here is another picture of some resident, a resident oh, and, her, and his daughter dancing. They're dancing. The That's beautiful. We hold a dance once a month. And if you didn't have this, this mm -hmm. wouldn't be happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. I know. It's amazing to think. I love know, it. Before I start my activities or mm -hmm. my music therapy, I kind of go and do a meet and greet and I see mm -hmm. where everyone's at. Everybody's sure. just kind of doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. And then I think, wow, look what I did. I brought everybody together. Here's our exercise group of ladies here. Oh, how and gentlemen fun. too, they come along as well. And you have music. And have yes. music. Mm -hmm. We have recorded music right now. Okay. Um, but in the future, I plan to use live. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then mm -hmm. this picture here is of our bell choir. Oh, I see that. Mm -hmm. They have little handbells. They do, and they nice. play. I point to them when it's their uh -huh. turn to and make the And look music. at their smiles. That's mm -hmm. pictures worth a thousand words. That's amazing. And here is another picture of our choir. Okay. Out in the courtyard. This is assisted living. How oh, nice. And we also go places. We've been to the zoo. There's a picture of me and this lovely oh, lady here. I see here. that. Point Defiance. Point Defiance mm -hmm. Zoo. How wonderful. And we were just so fortunate to have the tiger in the <laughs> background. <laughs> you probably were singing songs all the way there, right? <laughs> Say thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this facility, what is this exactly? Is it a, a 
just one care facility or is it a corporation? What exactly is it about? It is a corporation. Okay. There are 11 okay. different facilities. Oh, there is. Eight in Washington and three, okay. and I think four now in Oregon. Okay. Do in they Boston. all have the music therapy like you're involved in? I, I'm not too sure. I okay. haven't been to all of them. Okay. I think there are two of that I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay, continue. And um, do they all have uh, the memory care units? Do they all have that facility as well? Mm -hmm. They do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most of right. them, I think there's 11 out of the 12 okay. that have the memory right. care. And it's been, okay. it's been a wonderful experience mm -hmm. being there. Um, the staff like are just really welcoming and warm. Yes. And everybody's very supportive of each other. That's wonderful. So it's like yeah. a family situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so do you have anything that really sticks out in your mind that, um, of say, you know, with music therapy, something that really stands out that has been uh, something that you've thought about that was um, more on the term of, you know, uh, something that you could really, you mm -hmm. could take this and probably um, practice or whatever you would say with other, other uh, residents. Um, I just, I've had a lot of unique mm -hmm. experiences mm -hmm. with the residents and okay. seeing people that don't normally engage okay. come out of their shell and start interacting okay. and sharing memories. Okay. And I've also helped certain residents in their rooms okay. fall to sleep when they've been really agitated. Oh, and that's so beautiful. That's been, that's been nice um, to see mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, how music mm -hmm. is working mm -hmm. um, to, to help meet their needs. So you're seeing yeah. the difference between mm -hmm. like the before and after. You're really seeing mm -hmm. the difference. Mm -hmm. you, you sure are. That's a wonderful mm -hmm. thing yeah. and we were speaking about a gentleman that um, that he had a, a really slow gait can you tell me about that he just started off that he had just a really slow gait mm -hmm. um, this gentleman had Parkinson's okay and um, it it causes it's it has a depletion of motor neurons in the mm -hmm. in the brain mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a depletion of dopamine causes this oh and so with this Parkinson's, he's not able to walk very fluidly. It's like a okay. shuffled gait. Okay. Um, but with when he listens to music, it's able to work to help synchronize the rhythm synchronizes in the brain and helps to kind of bypass those damaged areas. And he syncs right up with it, and he's able to move right oh. with the music. And eventually, you'll see in this video we're going to show. Yes. Why don't we go ahead and see that video? Mm -hmm. I'm excited okay. to see this. Okay. study I came across. Um, it's actually been out for quite a while, but I didn't know about it, so I wanted to, you know, let other therapists know. I've had great results with this guy. Um, we're going to demonstrate walking with no music first, just to kind of show the gait pattern. He's got Parkinson's, and so usually, you know, he's got the typical kind of shuffling gait pattern and difficulty with um, smooth gait cadence. Then I'll show a video with the music, and you'll see the difference.
to me and it hurts me. I guess we're all gonna be what we're gonna be. So what do you do with good old boys like me? That was so interesting. I really enjoyed that. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that with us. Um, so actually, how does music therapy actually work? Well, there's been a lot of research that's come out in the last 20, 15 to 20 years okay. about how music is working in the brain. Oh. Um, I know you you see what music can do on the outside, how it can change a person, yes. make them smile yes. or um, make them dance, you know, yes. different things that have happened yes. that way. Yes. But what is music doing in the brain is just okay. amazing. And I have this picture that I was going to show okay. of music in the brain. And you'll see in the picture mm -hmm. a brain at rest okay. with no music. And then the other side shows music. And it just lights up everywhere. It which does. Is amazing. They, that is amazing. They, you know, they thought, well, music would just mm -hmm. show up in the auditory yes. cortex where yeah. you hear everything. But it, it, it doesn't. It goes everywhere. That and um, something. people that have had mm -hmm. strokes mm -hmm. that cannot talk mm -hmm. because speech is in the left side and it's damaged yes. okay. are able to sing, whereas really? singing is on the right side. And so speech therapists really? are using music and rhythm okay. to help retrain damaged mm -hmm. areas of the mm -hmm. brain. Mm -hmm. Is this a, like mm -hmm. a scientific fact that somebody that can't even talk can sing? Do you have an example of that? Um, it's... I do have an example, but it's, it doesn't happen for everybody. Okay. Um, it has to do with certain types okay. of the, the, the damage and where it's at. Okay. Um, but I do have an example with um, Gabby Giffords. Have you oh, heard of her? I sure have. Um, yes, I have. Okay. She was a senator that got shot in okay. the head, and she wasn't able to talk. But she did use, she did go through music therapy. There was a speech therapist and a music therapist that worked together um, oh. to help her talk again. So um, yeah. so she actually did start talking or mm -hmm. really? It took, took a while, mm -hmm. but I do know in the video, she mm -hmm. was not able to say in her progression, she was not able to say this little light. She was not able to say light okay. of mine, but she okay. was able to sing that. Seriously, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is beautiful. Yes. I love it. One month after the shooting, Gabby Giffords was in the hospital in Houston. Uh, settling in for the long haul. Yeah. Good. Side of the brain is exhausting, often agonizing work. Now in those early therapy sessions in Houston, you turn on the it seemed as though words had abandoned her. turn on the For those of us injured on the left side of the brain, our loss of words can make us feel trapped inside our own minds. Gabby, are you frustrated? Can I tell you something? It is going to get better. Okay? It's frustrating right now, but it is going to get better. You've come a long way in five weeks. You've come a long way. And then, in this emotionally charged moment, to our absolute amazement, we heard this. Okay, you're gonna do this. You ready? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, good morning, Gabby. How do you do? Megan Morrow is Gabby's music therapist. Why is it that someone who can't speak can sing? Because music is accessed in many different areas of the brain that aren't designated for language. Language is normally held in the left hemisphere of the brain, where Gabby was injured. Music exists in both hemispheres. Incredibly, scientists are finding that music therapy can rebuild language on the uninjured right side. Nothing activates the brain so extensively as music. You know, I mean, that's a miracle, if you ask yeah. me. I think so, too. I, I think it's amazing. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So um, I understand too that you had a scripture you wanted to share with us today. Mm -hmm. Do you have that for us? I do. I okay. Do. Um, okay. It, you want to share it? It's from Second Corinthians. Okay. And it's um, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That just it's beautiful. It really resonates well with me. Yes. Um, I became a Christian when I met my husband. Okay. And I started going to this big church in Colorado, and I just, um, I, based off of the messages that they were giving. Okay. I began to realize, I began to see myself in a d different light than okay. how I had saw myself with struggling and always having, you know, to work for different things and thinking mm -hmm. that I was different. Mm -hmm. I began mm -hmm. to realize that my weaknesses were more like strengths. Absolutely. And that the Lord put me through these challenges for a reason. Absolutely. And I was meant to to go through these different hurdles yes. um, to get to where yes. I am today. Yes. And so think of, you know, at that point of all of the people that you have reached and touched mm -hmm. and some maybe they can't even verbalize it. But in your heart, you know mm -hmm. that there's been a change. And I, yeah. I just think that is amazing. And I, yeah, yes. and I think that for anybody that's going through mm -hmm. any kind of problem or, mm -hmm. or trouble in your life, um, it's easier sometimes to go right to the negative side okay. of things. But if okay. you can think of what you're going through as, mm -hmm. yeah, this is what I meant to do, mm -hmm. then it's, it, it'll be twice as fast for you to be able to get yourself up and moving towards the Absolutely. direction. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, Daisy, where do music therapists usually work? Where do they find employment at? Um, right now, we are employed basically uh, everywhere. We are in the oh, schools, okay. we're in the NICU, we okay. work in the hospitals. Um, out here in Washington State, we have a lot of music therapists working in psych wards. Oh, because out here we have more of a psychodynamic philosophy of music therapy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so, um, does health insurance, do people, can they have insurance that will cover mm -hmm. the cost of say music therapy extra? Mm -hmm. We, um, we have several programs that are available and we're also working towards our licensure right now. Okay. Um, so with that, hopefully getting past soon, we will be able to open up more funding and okay. programs too. I think but. it's wonderful. And Daisy, you've been yeah. such a delight today. And I hope maybe in the future you can come back and and uh, share some more of this because it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and you wanted to address uh, caregivers as well. You can mm -hmm. go ahead and speak mm -hmm. to the caregivers now if you'd like to. I just, uh, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sure, no, go <laughs> ahead. Um, caregivers and activity directors and music therapists out there, just keep doing what you're doing. And I appreciate you so much. Everybody does. And, and we hope that you continue to use music in your programming. Um, the more music, the better. And I think um, the more music programs that are available for your residents also will be very helpful. That's awesome. So. Thank you again, Daisy. If you would like more information on Whispers of Hope, or if you would like to share your story on our program, please see the contact information at the end of this video. You can also follow us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you again for joining us. Goodbye.